and welcome back. It's Sally Cathcart here from the Curious Piano Teachers. Feels like a long time since I've done a live, but uh, I'm just all fired up this morning from a conversation we've been having and a community chat. We've been having about mm, our curiosity box, which is called Visible Learning, and it's about how you discover whether your students have actually learned, making that learning visible. Anyhow, I'm here today though to talk about having a planning week or a planning day or a planning afternoon but making sure that you do some planning on a regular basis now what is the importance of planning well planning helps us to move our students from point a here we go here's point a yeah to point b down here somewhere let's put point b now, how do we bridge that gap between A and B? And that's our job as teachers to help guide and advise our students on how to do that. Now, point A is the starting point. It's a bit like a map, you know. If you start off on a journey and you don't quite, you haven't worked out in your, by looking at a map how to get to point B, then you could end up going, oh, all around the houses to get there. You know, you could end up coming over here to visit somewhere over there, for example, and notice there are no uh, marks on there, but, or you could even end up going way out of your way, as I often do if I don't look at a map, um, or have my, my sat nav. It's a bit like using your sat nav, isn't it? That's a nice idea. So I'm going way out of my way down here. Planning, though, sitting down for a bit of time with a nice coffee and a cake, thinking, well, they're here, and in a month, in a term, in a year, I want them to be down here at point B. Then you can actually sit down and think, how am I going to do that? How am I going to get them? Ah, oh, well, first, first step is they need to do this. They need to understand how to uh, clap and rhythms in compound time or something like that. And then if point B is to do with um, being able to play a piece in compound time, then I take them to the next point where they're actually reading independently, playing very short little pieces in compound time on a, on a regular weekly basis. And then maybe they need another put another one here, another step here before they then go on to point B, which is playing a piece in compound time. So it's very much a step by step process. That's quite a short term thing. I could have taken it uh, further and said that point B is much, much further away on the compound time um, learning schedule. So maybe they do an easy piece in compound time here, maybe a level one piece, what we call green for go on our essential repertoire. Green for go, sorry, I'm going to confuse you. Uh, green for go, let's go here. Nice, easy green for go piece. Um, and then they have a um, orange for OK piece, so that means it's well within their capabilities. Green for go means technically it's really quite easy, but it's in that new compound time. The orange for OK means it's at their playing level. So it's a new concept, it's compound time, but they're OK with it. And then you can take them on to a pink for think level, which is obviously a more challenging piece in compound time by which point you might get to level B, which is about playing pieces independently and confidently in compound time. I love the way I've just designed that as I've gone along. That's the power of thinking on your feet. So do spend some time planning because that's what this is about. Just making sure that you schedule it in. You might not do it this week. You might not do it this month. But what about during the summer holidays that are coming out? Sit down. Put it in your planner right now. See if you can put aside two or three days, depending on the number of students you have, where you can look at where your students are, where you want to get them to, and how are you going to achieve that. We were also commenting, by the way, how much more straightforward this is with the help of the piano framework and also with the Essential Repertoire project that we've just been, we're currently working on. So you can see where a, uh, a green for go piece is and an orange for OK, and a pink for think piece. Anyhow, that's my little idea for today. Planning really, really helps us with teachers. It feels positive, and the students really, really know where they're going then, which helps with motivation. All right, I'll be back soon. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.